Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Dan, this is the room here. Come on. <gasps> Look at all the babies. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, the doctor just said the baby we're adopting is wrapped in a pink blanket. Oh my gosh, is that her over there? OMG, this one says Molly. That's right, that was her name, Molly. Oh my gosh, hi little baby. Where are your parents? I don't know for that, I can't go for that. <laughs> Are you sure this is a good idea? The baby's crying already. As soon as she saw us, she started crying. Dan, she didn't start crying because she saw us. She started crying because, well, she's a baby, and that's what babies do. Okay, but maybe she doesn't want us to be her mom and dad. Don't be ridiculous, Dan. Of course she does. Come here, little baby. I'm gonna pick her up, Dan. Okay. But be careful. That thing cries a lot. Hi, sweetie. I'm your mommy. And I'm your dad, if, if you are okay with that. Don't cry, okay? <laughs> oh, sweet little baby. There's no reason to cry. Maybe she doesn't want you to be her mom or something. Dan, that's a silly thing to say. Yeah, you're right. You're going to be the world's best mom, Laura. Oh, thanks, Dan. Let's take our new daughter home. Daddy, 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 daddy! What is it, Molly? I want to watch another movie. I want to watch another movie. No, Molly. It's time for you to take a nap. No, I don't want to. Molly, come on now. You already watched one movie, and you promised you'd take a nap like a good little girl. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Molly, you need to listen to your mother. Oh, boy. These toddler stages are so crazy. Come on, Molly. Let's go up and take a nap. Mommy, I'm not tired. Actually, you sound very tired, Molly. Come on, let's go take a night-night. See you in a little bit, Molly. Oh, kids. Oh, my gosh. I need a vacation. <laughs> Molly, I think your dad wants a vacation. I need a vacation, too. On my vacation, I don't take naps. Well, we're not on vacation now, so you have to take a nap right this second. Oh, I don't want you. Okay, night-night. See you in a few hours. I'm hiding. Okay, Molly. Molly, however you want to take a nap, I don't mind. This stinks. I don't want to take a nap. I don't need a nap. I'm a big kid. Molly, get back in your bed. Hi. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to take a nap. <laughs> I think she finally fell asleep. Ah, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> this room boring. Woo! I jump on the bed. <laughs> okay, bored now. Woo! The same. One, two, three, four, eight, seven, four, three, nine. I know my numbers perfectly. Wow! I say open the safe. Whoa! There's a lot of money in here. I need all this money. It's mine. I get him. I get to buy a car with this. Oh yeah, this could be awesome. My new car's amazing. Oh yeah! Making it rain with all my money. <laughs> This is gonna be the best life ever with all this money I have. Molly? What well, what are you doing in our safe? <gasps> Were you stealing money? Who, me? Uh, yeah. What? No, that's naughty. You're not supposed to steal money. But I need a new sports car. You and me both, Molly. I need a sports car too, but I have to be an adult. And I made all that money, so you can't steal it from me. If anybody gets a sports car, it's me, Dad. Wow, you sound grumpy. Maybe you need a diaper change and a nap. That's it. Time out for you. What? But I, do I have to get the money back? Yes, of course. Give it to me, please. No, can't have it back. You can't get me and you can't have it. Molly, get Molly, get back here. <laughs> Molly, <laughs> you're extra grounded. You're you're going to baby jail. Baby jail? What's that? Baby jail is time out for the naughtiest of children. Oh, man. 
You must stand in the corner until, well, for 10 minutes. That's a long time. Well, next time you should think about it and and not be naughty. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm doing pretty good as a parent, I, I think. Is this the right thing to do? I don't know. No, you're me. Sorry, Molly, but sometimes mom and I, we have to be strict and teach you a lesson. Uh, I don't like it. Just stay there for 10 minutes, Molly, and no more stealing from the safe. This is so boring. I'm out of here. <laughs> I broke out in baby jail. Oh, that was so boring. Instead, I think I'm going to get an ice cream. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Yummy. Molly, I can't believe it. This is a huge day. Why? I don't feel like it's a very huge day. Why are you crying, Mom? Because you're so grown up, Molly. You're going to take care for the first time. Oh, man. This sounds boring. You're going to learn so much, Molly. You're going to learn about math and science and social studies. Boring, boring, boring. Oh, Molly, try to have a positive attitude, okay? Now, come on. Let's go in and meet your teacher. Fine, but I can go in by myself. What? I was going to walk you in. I don't need to have you walk me in, Mom. I'm a big kid now. Okay, Molly. Well, have a good day. Uh, bye. Ugh, my mom, she's like driving me crazy. She's always crying when I'm doing new stuff. Ugh. Good morning, little girl. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Lily, and you must be the new student. Oh, please don't stand on the desk, okay? Whee! <laughs> Let me tell you who's in charge here, lady. It's me. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> usually we don't talk to the teacher that way, but it's your first day, so I won't put you in timeout or anything. Uh, there's a timeout here, too? Uh, yeah. Did you have timeout at home? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All the time. Oh, boy. I can see I've got my work cut out for me here. Okay, well, why don't you go play with the other kids? Actually, I think the only one here this early is Daisy, but she's super nice. You'll make good friends with her. Fine. You were kind of boring anyway. Use nice words, please, Molly. And welcome to Brookhaven Daycare. Oh, bye. My name's Stacy. What's yours? I'm Molly. You talk kind of funny. Well, I can't help it. It's just how I talk. My mom said I'm adorable, though. Well, I guess your mom thinks you're adorable. But I don't. Ouch. You're kind of mean. Why don't you go play somewhere else? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I got off on the wrong foot. I'm Molly, and it's nice to meet you. How about we start over? Okay, I'm Daisy, and it's nice to meet you, too. Don't worry. I think you're just a little nervous about daycare. Wanna play with a hippo? Uh, not really. I'm too big for that kind of stuff. But you just started daycare. You're like five years old. You don't play with toys? No, I have a much bigger agenda on my mind. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad that Burger Barn delivered this. <sighs> I'll just eat it later, though, because I'm super busy at work. Ooh, the teacher just got something delicious, and my mom tried to feed me healthy stuff for breakfast. I didn't eat it, of course, so I'm hungry. I should steal her lunch. Come on. I'll share it with you. Um, I'm not going to steal the teacher's anything, let alone her lunch. That's just wrong. What? No, it's fun. Besides, her lunch looks delicious. Look at it. I'm not stealing the teacher's lunch, Molly. Ugh, I don't know if you're a very good friend after all. What? Yes, I am. I'm the best friend in the world because I'm telling you we can have a delicious um snack right now. You don't want to. Well, I just think that it's wrong to steal. Okay, suit yourself, but I'm going to. Ooh, that cheeseburger looks delicious. Mmm, that's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Molly, you really did steal her burger bun. Yeah. Mmm, and it's delicious. <laughs> Do you want me to share it with you? I put some of it over on a tray for you over there. No, oh, I don't want to eat that. That's terrible. You stole the teacher's stuff. I'm telling and I'm taking it back too. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do that, Daisy. I'm going to take it back and tell her you stole it. Miss Lily, I have to tell you something. Oh, well, well what is it, Daisy? Molly stole your book upon lunch, but I brought it back the half that she tried to give me because I don't want to eat your lunch. Oh, Daisy, thank you for telling me. You sure I'm not a tattletale? No, Daisy, of course you're not a tattletale. It's okay to tell the truth, and this was definitely a time that you should come to me and tell me what's going on. Okay, well, try not to be too harsh on my... Molly, I guess. Well, she definitely has to have a timeout, but thank you for telling me. I am sorry you only get to eat half of your lunch now. It's okay, Daisy. I wasn't that hungry anyway. Hmm. Delicious. Is my lunch very, very good, Molly? Huh? What? How did you know? Uh, because Daisy told me. But she 
Oh my gosh, what a tattletale! Molly, time out, please. Oh man, come on, you can get in the playpen. What? I'm too big for a playpen. Don't come out for at least 20 minutes. 20 minutes? But mom and dad only give me a 10 minute timeout. Well, you're a big kid now and you stole from the teacher. Very naughty. 20 minutes in timeout to think about what you did. Oh man. Ugh, that Daisy is so rude. I can't believe she told on me. What a brat. <laughs> I know what I'll do. I'll sneak out. Yeah, it's what I've been doing since I was a baby. <laughs> Ooh, the park. This looks like fun. Oh, I could go swimming. I could go swing on the swings. Pfft, I'm not sitting in any kind of baby jail. Wee! <laughs> Wee! This is fun. Who needs school anyway? Ah, another day at school. I'm so excited. I think I'll store my money in my locker that I made from babysitting. It'll be nice and safe in there. Did she just say she left money in her locker? <laughs> now I can steal it when she walks away. <laughs> Well, better get to class. <laughs> she didn't even see me behind that bush. Now time to break into her locker. Oh, I've got to go be a student. Okay, no problem. I can do that. Perfect. What locker owned? That's okay. I have a way to just bust into this locker. <laughs> Ooh, there's the money. <laughs> I can't wait to go to the mall with all this cash. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 dollars? Holy guacamole, I can buy something really cool at the mall. Caught you red-handed, Molly. Wait, what? What are you doing? I'm filming you, Molly. Stealing from my locker. No, I wasn't. You can't prove that. Uh, hello? Duh. Of course I can. I've got a, I've got a camel right here. And I filmed the whole thing. Oh, well, I was just putting this money back. I, did, I wasn't taking your money. What? Did I hear it? It's, I just hear someone was stealing. Oh, my gosh. It's the principal. Ugh. You are so in trouble, Molly. This is like the 10th time you've stolen this school year. What? It is? Well, you can't prove anything there, mean principal. Uh, actually, we can prove it, Molly. I have it on film, remember? I was just gonna put some money in Daisy's locker. You know, because I'm such a good person and all. Molly, I know that's not the truth. Give the money back, and it's detention for you. Ha ha, Molly. You are in trouble. You are in trouble. You just wait, Daisy. You'll pay for this. You'll pay for this. Okay, Molly, that's enough out of you. Come on, detention. You can have it in math class since that class is let out for the day. Fine. Oh, this is so boring. Quiet, please. And take out a piece of paper and start writing, I will not be a criminal about a thousand times. Okay, let me find my notebook. Where's that one I stole yesterday? What did you say? Nothing. I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. <laughs> I'm not even really writing anything. <laughs> I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. Okay, I've got to go to the lunchroom because I'm super hungry. I need a snack. Try to not do anything silly, Molly. Nope, just going to be right here. I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I'm out of here. So boring. Oh, I don't have a car, though. What am I going to do? <gasps> Wait, there's Daisy's car. Oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I guess I should have paid attention in driver's ed. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh-oh. Uh I sort of slammed into the mayor's office. Oopsie. Well, good thing that this card isn't registered to me. See, it says Daisy. <laughs> so I guess she'll take the heat for that one. What kind of ice cream do they have today? Hi there. <laughs> I would love to take your order. What would you like? Oh, um, well, the mayor said since I'm going to be the new mayor and starting next week, I get free ice cream. Wait, what? You're going to be the new mayor? But aren't you still in high school? Yeah, they're turning over a new leaf, you know, getting the young people involved. So I will have a scoop of everything. Okay, well, here you go. Mm, free ice cream. <laughs> She totally believed that lie, too. It was awesome. Now that I'm a grown-up and I'm a criminal as my profession, I thought I should start looking a little bit more professional. <laughs> There's Daisy. Now I just have to wait till she goes to lunch, go in, hack into the computer, and steal all the money. Ooh, my stomach's growling. Guess I better go into the back end, get some lunch. Perfect timing. I have to work quickly. First, I have to hack into this computer. <laughs> it's working! Right! 
should start spitting out cash any minute now. Stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! I got me some stacks of cash! Oh yeah, I'm gonna buy a huge mansion, a brand new, um, let's see, what kind of, what kind of car do I want? Um, a Lamborghini! Uh-oh! Here comes the police! Oh my god, they're right outside! Okay, it's alright, it's alright. I'll just go up here and pretend I work here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I have to hide the money back here. And, um, okay, there we go. Phew. Alright. Hands up, Molly! What? What are you talking about? I work here now. Oh. Well, that's great. You got a job here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't I look professional? Actually, I'm the manager. See why well, I'm wearing a suit? Oh, okay. Well, um... Have a good day. I thought I got a call here that you were stealing things. Nope, I just work here, don't I, Daisy? What? No, you don't. I'm your manager, remember? Now get back to work. She does not. I think she she hacked into my computer and stole all the money from the ATM. All right, Molly, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm going to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. No way. <laughs> now, you can go quietly or we can do this the hard way. Oh, man. Molly, I knew sooner or later you were going to get caught. You've been a criminal since the day you were born. Okay, Molly. Time to go to the slammer. Oh, no. Can we at least listen to the radio? No. Um, can we go back and get the money I stole since I'm paying prison time for it? No. Can we stop at the grocery store? I really want a candy bar. No. Oh, man. You're no fun. I'm not fun. I'm a cop. Oh, my gosh. This room is terrible. Why do I have to wear this ugly outfit? I look terrible in orange. Because you're a prisoner. <laughs> you're a criminal. You have to wear a criminal outfit. And that's your room, so I hope you like it. Besides, you've got a bunk bed. You're pretty lucky. What? This isn't lucky. Let me out of here. Not a chance. You're going to be in there till you're very old. What? No, I'm not. Whatever. I'll just escape. I'll flush myself down the toilet. Go into the sewer. And get out of here. Wait a minute. I don't... I, I don't fit. I'm too fat to fit down the toilet. Okay, maybe I could fit in the sink. No. Okay, there's got to be some sort of loophole. I've gotten out of every single jail, time out, and detention I have ever been put in since the day I was born. Oh my God. There's no way out. There's no way out. Okay, maybe there's some way in the ceiling or something. Wait, is that a vent? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. It goes to nowhere. Just face it, Molly. You're stuck in here. But, but the vent, it looked like it was going to let me out of here. Not a chance, Molly. Not a chance. Oh, they thought of everything for criminals. You think you can escape that way, but of course you can't. <laughs> but, Daisy. Sorry. You do the crime, you do the time. Oh, man. Well, it won't be so bad. I'll be out of here soon enough. I'll be out of here soon enough, right? I'll be out of here soon enough. Oh, I'll be out of here soon enough. Soon enough, I'll be out of here. I'll be out of here soon enough. I'll be out of here soon enough. Oh, I'm never gonna get out of here. Well, hello there, Molly. <laughs> I think you've finally done your time. I've been in here for 70 years. You're finally coming back to let me out. Uh, actually, <laughs> that was my grandfather who put you in prison. I'm his grandson. I also became a cop. It's a family thing. Oh, well, that's really nice of you to finally let me out. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do now, though. Well, you're free, but I suggest don't be a criminal anymore because <laughs> if we put you in jail again, you'll definitely die here. Oh, well, I guess thanks for letting me out. No problem, Granny. I mean, Molly. Oh, Oh, I wonder where Daisy is. Uh, I think she, um, still works at the bank. Well, I guess it's time for me to start up. Ah! Granny? Granny? Granny, are you okay? Oh, boy. I don't think she made it. And on the day she got out of prison. Well, that's the sad life of a criminal, I guess. It's summer break, it's summer break, no more school, it's summer break. Summer break makes me so happy because obviously there's no school. Mmm, what should I pack to go to the park today? Ooh, the ice cream looks good. Molly, you can't take ice cream to the park, it will melt. Well, I think we should try. Mmm, it's really good. You can't take ice cream to the park. Besides, even if it didn't melt, you're eating it all before we even get there. Yeah, good point. Mmm. 
I just can't help myself. It's so delicious. What should we pack? How about we just get Pogo Pond? Daisy, you're speaking my language. Sounds delicious. Uh, but Daisy, you can't go in pants and a long shirt. You will literally feel like you're sitting on the surface of the sun. It's gonna be really hot today. Don't you want to wear shorts and stuff? I'm working on it, Molly. I still have to change and whatever. Well, hurry up. I really want to get going. Ah, oh, my sister takes forever. Speak for yourself, Molly. You're the one that takes forever when it's time to go to school. Well, yeah, obviously. Who wants to go there? Daisy, seriously, come on now. Molly, my pigtails have to be perfect. Daisy, you're gonna get in the pool. Your pigtails are gonna look terrible after that anyway. No, they won't. They look perfect, Molly. Holy guacamole, what's in that huge bag? What, are you gonna stay there for the rest of your life? <laughs> no, I have sunscreen, I have snacks, I have an extra pair of sunglasses, an umbrella, a beach towel. Holy guacamole, Molly. You are moving in down there. Come on, let's get going. Okay, I'm trying to move, but this bag is really heavy. Uh, uh, uh. Daisy, could you carry it? Absolutely not, Molly. You packed all of it. You carry it. Daisy! Come on, we'll take the car instead of walking. That way you don't have to carry that whole thing all the way across town. Good idea, Daisy. Daisy, it won't fit in your trunk. It's it's too big. Molly, you're gonna have to leave the bag here. No way, I need this stuff. There, okay, I crammed it in there. Molly, I don't even know if the car's gonna go now. You've got so much weight in that bag. <laughs> Whatever, Daisy. You'll be thankful when you need a snack. Daisy, stay on the road. I can't, Molly. That bag is so heavy. It's making me still funny. Whatever, Daisy. You're being so dramatic right now. Yes, we're finally here. Molly, don't you need your bag? Nah, I don't really need all that stuff. Molly! <laughs> well, I don't. I changed my mind. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I got stuck with her as a sister. Ooh, I'm gonna ride on the swings. Molly, don't look now, but Sarah's here. Whoa, I can't look. I'm getting too dizzy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm getting off the swing. Hey, Sarah, how's your summer going? Why are you talking to me, loser? Uh, actually, my name's not Loser. My mom and dad named me Molly. Isn't that funny? This whole time you thought my name was Loser, but it's really Molly. I know what your name is, Loser. Okay, you can't rename me. My name is Molly. Uh, yeah, she's still talking to me. It's super annoying. Yeah, I have to call you back. Goodbye. Okay, Loser, you're interrupting my phone call. What do you want? Um, like I said already, my name isn't Loser. <sighs> Seriously, do you understand what I am saying? My name is Molly. Oh, whatever. This is getting so ridiculous. Whoa, looks like we're gonna have a giant storm. Good thing I brought that umbrella. Molly, go get the bag. We need the umbrella. Told you that would come in handy. Ha, huh, this rain is crazy. This is not exactly how I thought our park day would go. It's okay, Molly. It'll pass in a minute. Oh my gosh, it's like raining so hard. Let me under there too. You lose need to move over. She already told you our name isn't Luzel. Look, Molly, the sun is coming out. Yeah, only one problem. The entire park is flooded. Oh, man, this totally ruined our amazing summer park day. Only if you let it, loser. Um, seriously, can you start calling me Molly? I don't like being called loser. We could do other cool things. I thought we were losers. You want to hang out with us now? Well, there's no one else to hang out with. Come on. Let's do a dare. I don't think so. That sounds like a really bad idea. We sh it's raining again, Molly. Maybe we should just get going home. No, Daisy, I don't want to just give up. I mean, we only have so many summer days, and then it'll be school time again. True. Okay, Sarah, what's the deal you're thinking of? I'm thinking that you should um swing as high as you can and then jump off. That's a terrible idea, Molly. Don't take the deal. I dare you, Molly. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I double dog dare you. Whoa, this is getting serious. A double dog dare? I triple dog dare you. Molly, don't listen to her. Nothing's worth a triple dog dare. Daisy, it's a triple dog dare. I'll be the biggest chicken on the planet if I don't do it. Okay, fine. I take your triple dog dare. Everything's gonna be fine, Daisy, anyway, because literally, I'm gonna just land in the water. Molly, I think this is such a bad idea. Nah, it's gonna be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Molly? M Molly? Oh my God, she's under the water, Molly! All I can see is her little face! Molly? Molly? Molly! Oh my God, Molly! Okay, I'm gonna take her sunglasses off and see if her eyes are open. Whoa, I think she might have gotten hurt or something. Figure she would jump over here towards this giant concrete 
block. Duh, that was silly of her. Don't pick on my sister. She's obviously hurt. Molly, say something, anything. <gasps> Look at her leg. It looks broken. I'm sure she's just fine. I mean, she looks sort of. Well, okay, yeah, no, she's not fine. You better call 911. This was all your fault, Sarah, for double dog tearing her. Okay, Molly, I'm gonna call an ambulance. Everything's gonna be fine. Just hang on, Molly, hang on. <sighs> 911, what's your emergency? Um, yes, I'm trying not to panic, but my sister's at the park and... I'm sorry, you need to stop crying, ma'am, so I can hear what you're saying. Okay, um, my sister jumped off the swing at the park in downtown Brookhaven, and she fell, and I think she hurt her leg, and she's not saying anything. Okay, ma'am, we'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you so much, bye! Sarah? Oh, I just figured she would run away. She wouldn't want to fess up to double dog. I mean, triple dog doing my sister. Oh my gosh, Molly. Wait, I saw her leg move. Molly? Molly? Say something, Molly, please. What, what happened? Ow, my leg hurts. Ow. <laughs> Molly, it's going to be okay. The ambulance is going to be here to take you to the hospital. What happened to me? What happened? Molly, you jumped off the swing and, 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 and you got hurt. Hello? So I'm totally here to take your sister to the hospital. Whoa, you look so much like this girl Sarah that I know. She looks grumpy too. Well, my job is really hard. I just have to pick up people all day and they're super heavy. Um, okay. Molly, we're just gonna get you on the stretcher now, okay? Oh, my leg hurts so bad. <laughs> It's gonna be okay as soon as you get to the hospital. They'll give you something for the pain. Okay, so like totally hold still. I don't need you to break your leg any worse than it already is. Don't worry, I can't even move. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Ugh. Okay, like everybody hold on because this might be a puppy ride. Molly, it's gonna be okay. I told you you shouldn't have taken that triple dog deal. Well, I didn't see where I had a choice. I mean, it was a triple dog dare. Molly, you always have a choice. Don't be ridiculous. Now look at the boat you've got yourself into. Daisy, can you not yell at me right now? I really don't feel good. Okay, Molly, sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? I think I've learned my lesson, okay? My leg is broken. <laughs> Uh, yeah, could I have a large latte, please, and a cheeseburger? I'm sorry, we're all out of lattes. Uh, I could still give you the cheeseburger, though. Fine, just give me a regular coffee and the cheeseburger. Seriously? My leg is broken and you've decided to stop at the drive-thru? Oh, I'm having the worst day ever. I'm literally gonna give this ambulance driver a one-star review. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh, I hope a doctor comes in soon. Oh, I feel like I'm dying. Oh, uh, good morning. Uh, what seems to be the problem here? My sister, she got really hurt, doctor. What's your name? My name's Dr. Taffy. Dr. Taffy? Seriously, like the candy? Yes, but unfortunately, doctors aren't as nice as Taffy because we have to give you shots a lot of times. What? I don't want a shot. Molly, just chill out. Oh my gosh, this is the worst day ever. Dr. Taffy, I'd like some ice cream and some candy and no shots please. Sorry, I can't promise anything. Now, what seems to be, uh, I mean, what happened is what I meant to say. Are you feeling okay, Dr. Taffy? I'm feeling fine. Quit asking so many questions. Just answer the ones I've got. Oh, grumpy, grumpy. Okay, um, uh, what happened was I took a triple dog dare and jumped off the swing at the park and... Well, I broke my leg. Okay, well, by the looks of you, we need to get an x-ray. Is that gonna hurt? No, Molly, x-rays don't hurt. Whoa, this machine is crazy. Yes, it's a very special x-ray machine. It will tell me where the breaks are in your leg and if you need surgery. Surgery? No, I don't, I don't want surgery, no! Okay, it looks like, hmm, your brain looks very giant and kind of delicious. What? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. <laughs> you don't uh, have more than one break. You only have just the one. Dr. Taffy, you're kind of talking kind of weird. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just hungry for brains. Brains? <laughs> you mean you're hungry for a Reese cup, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> totally. Just a Reese cup. Yeah. Um. Okay. Can I go back to my room now? Yes. You don't need surgery, but you're going to have to wear a cast on it. And also, I'm going to have to give you a shot. What? No, not a shot! Sorry, have to. What? No, no, no! I tried to call my mom on the phone, but she wasn't answering. I'm gonna have to send her an instant message. Okay, let me just log in here. What? 
What's this? The doctor's notes? Um, okay, well, I guess they can see what the doctor's notes are because it does have to do with my sister. What? He's giving everybody shots to turn them into zombies? Oh, my God, I have to get to my sister. Marley, I'm coming. See, I told you that shot wouldn't hurt that bad. What? You already gave her the shot? No, Marley. What? What's so bad? I already got the shot. It's over and done. Thank goodness. Because Molly, the, 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 that shot is, it's, it's Zombrex. What? Zombrex? What are you talking about? <laughs> Whoa, my leg is starting to feel a lot better and I'm craving brains. Weird. That shot worked really quickly. Molly, no! This can't be happening! What are you talking about, Daisy? I, I, I don't want to tell you this, Molly, but that shot's going to turn you into a zombie! What? No, it's not. Don't be ridiculous. What's that smell? It smells delicious. What, Molly? I don't smell anything. Smells like brains! Molly! No! How could this be? My only sister! Come here, Daisy. I want to eat your brains! Oh my god, I gotta get out of here! Molly, I thought your leg was broken! No, it's fine now! Ha ha ha! Caught you! Molly, don't bite me! Seriously, I don't wanna be a zombie! Sorry, but your brains smell delicious! I'll give you a choice, though! You could be a zombie like me, or I could eat your brains! I don't like either one of those options, Molly! Too bad! <coughs> Molly, you bit me! Molly! Ha 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 ha! Now you're gonna be a zombie, just like me! Me! Oh, I don't feel so good. Don't worry, you're gonna be feeling fine in no time. You're gonna be just like me. A zombie! <laughs> I can't believe you turned me into a zombie, Molly. Well, I think it's wonderful because we're gonna live forever. Yeah, but now I'm hungry. So hungry for brains. Brains! No problem. I'm sure we can find some somewhere around here. Look, the club just opened, which means there's gonna be lots of people going there to party and no one will suspect two zombies. Molly, we're green. How are we not gonna be suspected? Hey, look at that. Someone's over there in front of the mall. Ooh, I think it's Sarah. Let's go eat her brains. Let's go eat her brains. Okay, Molly, you're being a little crazy right now. Well, we are zombies. It's what we do. Oh, look who it is. I guess you didn't break your leg, huh? Whoa, you look really sick. Are you doing okay? What, what's wrong with you guys? Huh? You decided to come to the club tonight, huh? Well, I was gonna go to the mall, but I decided to come to the club instead. What does your face look like that before? I mean, you were ugly to start with. What? I wasn't ugly. And now I'm beautiful because I'm a zombie. What? A zombie? Oh! Everybody run! No one's even here yet, Sarah. It's just you and me. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Time to eat your brains! <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to call you a loser. Okay, yes, I did, but still, please don't eat my brains. It's happening, Sarah. It's happening! <laughs> Molly, say something, anything, Molly! Oh my gosh, I can't believe Molly fell off the swing and hit her head. Molly, Molly! Huh? What? What? What happened? Oh, my head hurts. My leg hurts. Molly, you hit you hit your head when you jumped off the swing. What? No, I, I, I was just a zombie. What? No, you weren't. Okay, let's get her on the stretcher already. Ugh, I want to go on my break. I'm starving. Okay, Miss Grumpy. My sister got a concussion. No, there was zombies at the hospital. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Molly, you have to get on the stretcher. You got a concussion from hitting your head on this concrete over here. And your leg is broken, I think. But the zombies! Molly, that was just a bad nightmare. Come on, get on the stretcher. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, but I'm telling you, Daisy, we have to watch out for the zombies. The doctor's infecting everyone. Molly, everything's gonna be okay. Well, ride with me, okay, Daisy, because I'm afraid. And I don't want the zombies to get me. Molly, for the last time, there's no zombies at the hospital. It was just a nightmare. You've got a concussion. Okay. I, 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 I guess I believe you, Daisy. Everybody hold on, okay? It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Oh, I'm starving. I wonder if the drive through will have anything that I like. Ugh, this job is so annoying. All I want to do is eat brains. Brains. Ah, do you hear that, DC? Hear what, Molly? I didn't hear anything. Ah!
Just try to behave yourself, Marley. We're never gonna get parents if you just keep being rude to everyone. I don't care about parents. I'm a demon. And I'm an angel, and I can't believe I'm stuck with you as a sister. Well, <laughs> you could be thankful. Having a demon as a sister is amazing. I don't really think so. Hey, hamster, be quiet. Don't be rude to my hamster. Well, it was being rude to me. Ay, ay, ay. I heard that today new parents are going to come in. Yeah, and look at all these adorable babies. What are they going to do? Adopt toddlers like us? Yeah, of course they will, Molly. If you're good. Here they come now. <laughs> Time to be our worst behavior. Laura, Laura, the, the, the nursery's in here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're adopting. I'm so excited. They told me that they had twins in here. Whoa, look at all these babies. Oh my gosh, look at that one with the wings. Oh, I think she's an angel. She's adorable. And look, she comes with a little hamster. Hey, I'm Pinkle. And the hamster talks. Okay, that's awesome. You can adopt me. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you have a twin? Who, me? No, I don't have a twin. What? She's betrayed me? <gasps> that's okay. I don't need anybody. Oh, but the hospital staff said the little toddler had a twin. Wait a minute. I think it's... I think her twin is over there. What? No, you don't see anything over in the corner. Nope, just me. No, I definitely see another little kid over there. Come on, Laura. Let's go see. Oh. Hello. Uh, is she an angel? No! I'm a demon! Ha 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 Um, okay. Well, I'm not sure that we were gonna adopt a demon. <laughs> That's good, because I don't need any parents. Actually, if you're a demon, I think you need the parents the most. Laura, come on. She really needs guidance. I don't know, Dan. A baby demon? And a baby angel, two for one heel. You, you can adapt us both. I don't want parents. Well, I think you really need some. Oh, my gosh. I, stop it. I don't want to ride piggyback on your back. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Hey, can you give me a ride? You have wings. Uh, no. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, well, it's settled. You girls are getting adopted. And, well, Molly, even if you are a demon, you can still be our daughter. Wow, finally we got parents. My sister has tried to scare off every single set of parents in the entire universe. Huh, by doing what? Um, driving their car into the pond. What? Setting their house on fire. What? You know, just little things. Yeah, little things. Wait till you see what I'm really capable of now that I'm adopted. <laughs> First, I'm going to go in the x-ray machine. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Molly, get out of there. You're not supposed to be in there. I want to x-ray my wings. I've never seen that before. Molly! Oh, she's already causing trouble. Okay, little troublemaker. Come on. Oh, you got me out of there too soon. I didn't have time to x-ray my wings. Annoying. I can see this dad of mine is going to be on my tail constantly annoying me. Maybe I should run away. Yeah, that might be a good idea. What did you say? Nothing. But you stop moving so fast. Hey, there's my car. Okay, I'm in the car. Buckle your seatbelt. Now. Molly. Okay. Quit being such a demon. These parents are going to give us back. Yeah, right. They seem to really like you. I don't think they'd sacrifice you to send me back. Well, for your sake, I hope so, Molly. I got all the paperwork. You're officially our daughters. That means we're in charge. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, girls. Let's celebrate with some ice cream. Ooh, I love ice cream. Ice cream is for angels. Do I look like an angel? But they have chocolate, vanilla, bubblegum, birthday cake, and mint chip. Ooh, mint chip. That sounds delicious. Be careful, demon. Your angel side is showing. No, it's not. I hate ice cream. I don't want any of this. I'm sitting over here by myself. Molly, won't you come sit with the rest of the family? Today's your adoption day. No. Well, see yourself, Molly. I got some delicious ice cream. Molly, come here, please. 
What? What? What do you want, Mom? Get some ice cream, Molly. Fine. Mm. Wow. Okay, this is pretty good. Hey, Angel, shove over! I can't help it. My wings are really big. Fine, you can sit on the inside. You wouldn't even want to be patient for five seconds. Oh, look, they're already fighting like there are kids. Yeah, <laughs> kind of crazy. Mm. This ice cream's pretty good. I guess having parents who buy you ice cream isn't so bad. Don't get the wrong idea, though, Molly. You'll still have to do chores and go to school. Oh, okay, and that sounds great. Where are you going, Molly? I just have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Time to get out of here. Parents are annoying. Oh, can I climb up this ladder? Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> do 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 do. I'm on my own. I'm free of that annoying angel sister of mine. Now I can go live wherever I want. Woo! The haunted house in town. This seems like a perfect place for a demon to live. Now, I'm going to make it super awesome in here. Ah, <sighs> Haunted home. Haunted home. Molly, are you in here? It's really creepy. Please answer. Oh, my gosh. I've got to hide. Here comes that annoying dad guy. Molly, are you upstairs? Uh, it's, it's so creepy. I'm hiding behind the pillow so he won't see me. Molly, we miss you. We know we're not perfect parents, okay? But... We still want you to be a part of our family, even if you are a demon. Whoa. I wonder if he really meant that. No one's ever said anything to me like that before. Everyone always wanted me to change. They never just wanted me to be who I was, which is a demon. Molly, are you in here? Um, I I'm up here. Molly! There you are! Your mom and I were so worried! Your sister could probably live without you right now, but whatever. We love you, even though you're a demon. Do you really? Because sometimes I do naughty things. I know, that's how baby demons are. But we're your parents, so we love you no matter what. Now, why don't you come live with us? Besides, this haunted house is creepy. I know, it's cool, right? Uh, maybe when you grow up, you can live by yourself in a haunted house. But for now, you have to come live at our house. And by the way, it's not haunted. Well, until you get there, and then it's sort of haunted because you're a demon. Okay, I, th I think you've got this all figured out, Dad. <laughs> totally. Now let's go home. Okay. I guess I got adopted today. Can't believe it. I always thought that no one would love me because I was a demon. Turns out, these parents are pretty cool. <laughs>